Kanthapura chapter 11 When Ramakrishnaya was dead, we all asked, and now who will explain to us Vedantic texts, and who will discuss philosophy with us? And Nanjama said, Why, we shall ask Temple Rangana, and we all said, Temple Rangana, well, he can hardly read the texts. Rangamma said, Oh yes, why, our Ratan knows how to read. And so every afternoon Ratan began to read the texts to us and when it came to discussion, Rangamma would say, Sister, if for the thorny pit the illusion fall into, we put the foreign government. And for the soul that searches for liberation, you put our India, everything is clear. And this way and that, she would always bring the British government into every page and line. Rangamma says, I saw Sadhu Narayan in Karwar. He taught me how to practice meditation and the first principles of yoga. And I sit every morning now and I take breath through right nostril and the left nostril like my father did. And strength has been flowing into me. She taught us how to control our breath and from that day we began to feel stronger and stronger and the eyes stuck brighter in the sockets and the mind deeper in the spirit. And one day when we had been practicing this for days and days, Rangamma said, Now sisters, I have seen something in the city and I should like to see it here. We all thought she was going to show us some new exercises but there were no new exercises. She only said we should all get together and stand and obey her and that when the Mahatma will call us to act, we shall have to go out and fight for him. But we said, nay, nay, we are not men, Rangamma. But Rangamma said, in the city there are groups and groups of young women, girls, married women and widows who have joined together and have become volunteers, volunteers they call them, and they practice exercises like the police. And when the meetings are held, they all get together and maintain order. Rangamma tells the story of Rani Lakshmi Bai and how she fought for India. The British gave Indian Maharajas titles and land and money. And so the English would go from one Maharaja to the other. And there was an imprisoned king in India called Tatia Tope. And then there were small kings and big kings and many landless kings. And they all said, We shall throw the red men into the sea. And they all waited for the propitious moment. And then, sister, suddenly the army rose against the red men. For the red men wanted the Hindus to eat cow's flesh and the Mohammedan to eat pig's flesh. And the army rose and fought against the red men. That is why they call it the soldier's revolt. Why? She rode the horse like a Rajput and held her army against the British. And no, two sisters, how the Rajput women fought with their husbands. And if their husbands were defeated and the enemy was going to enter the fortress, they prepared the pyre and all went round it in prayer and finally jumped into the flames, for never a Rajput shall be slave. Saroji Naidu and Annie Besant, all the heroic daughters who fight for the mother, and we, we think of nothing but the blowpipe and the broomstick and the milking of the many cows, we too should organize a volunteer course. We all welcome Murthy when he would return from jail. That will be like a bridegroom's welcome ceremony to go and meet Murthy on the Karwar road by the Kanchamma temple. Let us not call ourselves volunteers, let us call ourselves Sevika Sang. And we were called Sevis, and when our men heard of this, they said, Was there nothing left for our women but to vagabond about like soldiers? And every time the milk curdled or a dhoti was not dry, they would say, and this is all because of this sevi business. And Radhamma's husband beat her on that day he returned from village inspection, though she was seven months pregnant. 
एंड पोस्ट ऑफिस तम्मा हजबेंड वुड नॉट टॉक टू हर वाई सोन इट विल बी एज इफ द मैन विल हैव टू वेयर बैंगल्स एंड कुक सो दैट यू वीमेन मे शो योर सेल्स ऑफ यू शैल नॉट सेट योर फीट इन रंगम्मा हाउस अगेन रंगम्मा गोज टू हिम एंड सेज सो यू आर नॉट ए गांधीज मैन बिकॉज मूर्ति इज इन प्रिजन यू आर नो मोर ए गांधीज मैन एंड सुरीन रायन सेज आई एम ए गांधीज मैन आंट but if i cannot have my meals as before i am not a man to starve rangamma says of course stamma has to look after your comforts rangamma says we shall not forget our children and our husbands rangamma says that we too shall organize a foreign cloth by court like at sholapur we too shall go picketing cigarette shops and toddy shops and we too shall fight for our motherland and sometimes when we stood in rangamma's courtyard rangamma would say now if the police should fall on you you should stand without moving a hair and we would feel a shiver run down our backs we would say no sister this is too difficult and rangamma would say no sister that is not difficult does not the geeta say the sword can split asunder the body but never the soul and if we say we shall not move a hair we shall not move a hair and one day nanjamma came and said sisters last night i dreamt my husband was beating me and beating me and i was crying and my bangles broke and i was saying oh why does he beat me with a stick and not with his hands and then when i saw him again it was no more my husband it was bade khan and i gave such a shriek that my husband woke me up rangamma says when you and your daughters and your husbands walk the holy fire does it scorch or not sisters if the rapture of devotion is in you the lathi will grow as soft as butter and as supple as a silken thread and you will him out the name of the mahatma and sometimes sinu or vasudev would come when we did our exercises and they would say we too should organize such a cause but the boys will not come and rangamma says why in your prior school you must have some boys and sinu says no rangamma since the rest of murti they are all afraid they say we are not all going to sit behind the case bars and when i say what does that matter we are for the mahatma they say yes yes learned sir but our lands will go uncultivated and there will be neither child nor woman to pull the weeds or direct the canal water and i say we are fighting so that the rents may be lowered and the foreign rule vanish and you will all live happily nay and they say nay nay we shall fight but we, uh, we don't want the prison but range goda say let the harvests be over and we shall cane these idiots to follow you and we too shall organize a volunteer corps then vasudev says to rangamma and says why not start our bhajans again sister we shall keep it going as though murti were not in prison and sinu says so we should but murti said to shankar let them prepare themselves for the fight but no processions or bhajan lest the police fall on them and vasudev says no if murti were here he would start the bhajan again and rangamma says so i think too and we all say that will be fine and on the saturday that followed sinu went and blew the conch from the promontory and men rushed to the temple men and old women and children and all and we all said now it's going to be bright again in kanthapur and we knew not how to hold our hearts within our breasts cymbal conch and camphor clapping hands and droning drums the perfume of the sandal paste flowers in the hair and in our eyes shiva's eyes changing he changes not ash smeared his parvati sire moon on his head and poison in his throat chant 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 the name of ish chant the name of shiva lord thank you